Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Howell. Today we're going to further on modeling our kit bash. And I have taken a circle of minimum 32 sides and scale it on the x axis and take the middle faces and scale it up. Feel the circle. And fill up the sides, extruding them down. Topology in this part and on this stage, it's not important. Uh, later on, we're gonna fix it and um, also angons and triangles stuff like that it's not important because we are in early blockout stage and you can see me extruding scaling and mirroring around the even axis And you can see me deleting some edges, move some words, and relax. I use this very often uh, in the loop tools. It's very, very good for editing the relax tool. For evening out some words or spacing them. Now we're going to start adding more rough details and you can see um, use very often extrude and scale extrude and scale um, this is uh, one way to add also more edge loops without uh, coming uh, back later and uh, add these edges you can deal it uh, in the blockout stage We have added a loop in the middle and scaled it out and then uh, beveling it. Sometimes it's, uh, it's even better for scale than extrude uh, to its normals because uh, non sometimes some edges uh, are going to destroy uh, when you scale it on the normals. So you can see me here, I use the edges and subdivide for add an edge loop and for connecting this uh, for later on um, because I redirect some edges. Also the knife tool comes handy in the situations like this. You can see uh, I'm still moving some words, add some edges and look for also cleaning a little bit the topology or uh, for new solutions. And I always check with sub the, the shading. Well, guys, uh, some triangles on like flat surfaces or stuff like that, if you can see an error or like a little bit of a shading issue then let them go uh, triangles are not a bad thing because uh, so or so we, we subdivide it later and triangles become quads and uh, sometimes it's not important if you have uh, not quads but the goal here is uh, even you can let it rise but um, Clean topology is very important. Uh, that's not be to say like guy you need to have everywhere triangles and let them live like it. No, 
you uh, look every time when you model for a clean topology because a clean topology uh, gives gives you also the better result and how I say in the uh, last video uh, when you need to like modify some geos or uh, you need to display something or you need to cut or explode or something like this you need to have a clean topology and now on you can see i have redirected in the middle of the object some uh, edges and reduce it uh, because in the middle we don't need four edge loops we can reduce it to three or to one and now you can see me, I use very often the symmetrize tools, closing the hole and take one edge and uh, press F to fill it up. And uh, we go on further, cleaning up this geo, cleaning up those faces, symmetrizing. looking for some topology solutions, redirecting, connecting words. And now this is a very good method. You can take all faces, scale it in, extrude and scaling in. And after you can see, if I insert, we have some uh, distort edges and words. So we are going to only fix one side and then we can uh, mirror or symmetrize it to the other side. Guys, I take the opportunity to thank you for the first 200 subs. It's uh, very impressive how the channel grows. Uh, the channel can grow only with your support, guys. Uh, I can help you out with uh, some modeling tips and tricks. But uh, I mean, you guys out there make my channel grow. And I want to thank you. And now you can see we have added these details. And we can deal with more details. We can subdivide it one time and add further details, but uh, I'm going to stay there. And uh, I want to scale it a little bit, the inner part. I use very often the this select tool. It's very handy in these uh, types of situations. And now you can see scale on shift Y for a scaling in the circle without destroying his form. It was too much, I think. This is enough. Guys, if something was not understandable, because of my English, please let me know and I will try answer you. And if you have uh, new ideas for new videos or for exploring some stuff from my older videos, let me know about that. Now I beveled the middle edges and extrude them inner. We, uh, along the normals. Add some holding edges. With the madcaps I often checked also for the shading. And you can see where uh, we have very clean topology here. 
redirected some edges and then yes you can see i add one edge loop more for tightening up the corners in the middle this helps out with uh, shading thank you guys for watching and we see us in the future